hopefully they're done um, trying for a baby. Oh, whoa, whoa, did you guys just see that? Oh my God, whoa, okay, we don't need to see that. Welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. We are getting so close to our 100th episode, guys. I'm so excited. I have pre-recorded a lot of videos, so I am recording this one, and I have not posted the last episode of the Royal Family, episode 93, yet. So just so you guys know, in case you left any comments on there. So in the last episode of the Royal Family, we had the Royal Wedding of Sulani, and it was so, so beautiful. We had it on the islands, and they had this beautiful setup, and it was just absolutely amazing. And then after the wedding, we had Princess Leilana and now Prince Dean. They tried for a baby, so Princess Leilana is pregnant. Then we also had Princess Amira and Johan go on a date, and they actually ended up having a bit of a romantic relationship, which was interesting, so that started forming. So again, I haven't seen any comments from that episode, so I'm not going to address them in this video because I wanna be able to see those before I do anything with them. So also in this video, we are going to age up Prince Cornelius and Princess Arya of Oasis Spring. So they're going to age up into toddlers so we get to see what they look like. I think we're going to try for a few more babies. And we're also going to have a double wedding. We're going to have Princess Belle and Prince Jack's wedding with Prince Francisco and Lady Arya. And then hopefully by the end of this episode, Princess Leilana will be Princess Leilana will be having her baby. So if you're looking forward to this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and play the Royal family. Okay, so we are first starting out at the Royal Family of Willow Creek's Palace. Oh my gosh, it is finally not raining. I feel like in the past episodes, it's just been like raining nonstop here. So it is not anymore, thankfully. It looks like pretty much all the adults are at work. So I think we're just going to have Queen Cora go ahead and age up Prince Cornelius. Guys, I am so excited for him to age up. I also think that we need Oh, okay. Well, now he's crying. But I also think that we need to have them try for another baby, too. So we will definitely try to do that. Oh, gosh. Now both babies are awake and crying, you guys. This is not good. <laughs> okay, but we are aging up Prince Cornelius. So he's aging up. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a random trade for him because I always try to do that just to make it more realistic to see what he would be like. So, oh, guys. Okay, so Prince Cornelius is a clingy. So he is now a toddler Oh, guys, look at him. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is a Prince Cornelius, and then it's probably going to be, like, another episode or so before we age up Princess Genevieve. Okay, I am just going to, I just want to see, like, what exactly he looks like, so I am going to, oh, wait, he's angry, guys, from an unwanted sibling. He's had his sister for a little bit of time, so I don't know why he's like that. Maybe he's, like, a bit, so, like, he seems clingy to his parents. He's jealous that he has a sibling. So, and he's angry about it, too. He's not just sad about it. He's angry about it. Uh-oh, guys. I think Prince Cornelius might be a bit of trouble. So, we're just going to... I just want to modify him cast because I do want to change some of his outfits to see what he does look like because I'm so excited. Okay, guys. So, this is Prince Cornelius. He is all dressed up now. So, I did just like a few different outfits for him. But yeah, guys. So, this is what he looks like. So, he is going to be the heir to the throne after his father becomes the king. So, I'm so, so excited. So, he's super cute. Definitely got a bit of jealousy going on. Definitely very clingy to his parents too. So that's very interesting, but I'm so excited to see his sister too, you guys. Okay, so we have aged up Prince Cornelius. I am going to rename him. So now it's going to be Prince Cornelius. I think I spelled that right. Hopefully. I don't feel like looking it up right now. Um, so we have aged him up into a toddler now, you guys. This is like our first royal baby of this generation. Oh no. And he's being a terror, he already made a mess. And his grandfather's like, nope, I'm out of here. That's not my child, that's my grandchild. I'm gonna let his parents take care of that. And then we also have Princess Belle. It's almost her wedding day, so we'll probably do that. Uh, yeah, we'll probably do that this evening. I should probably have them plan the event, but first I do want, um, uh, what's her name? Um, I want Corinne and Louis to try for a baby, so that, oh, wait. Oh, okay, we can't, we can't until they have, um, until they get married because there's the house is too full at the moment. Why don't we go ahead then and plan the wedding? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so I decided to have the wedding 
here at the temple in Oasis Springs because this is actually where uh, Belle at oh gosh I need to change them into their wedding dresses I did pick out I picked out wedding dresses for them so I do need to change them yeah this is where Belle and Francisco got engaged um, and then if you want to see to the oh her and Corinna like stuck to each other but this is her wedding dress you guys doesn't she look so beautiful and I put a crown this crown is from is from bats from Westeros so they have some amazing crowns so you guys need to check them out too and then I also also have Prince Jack, so he's in his wedding outfit as well. And then I need to find, oh no, okay, not Prince Louis. You need to change. This is not your wedding anymore. You need to change back into your other formal outfit. So just wear, does it, would he wear his crown? I don't feel like he would wear his crown to his brother's wedding. I feel like that's not appropriate. But then like, I feel like the king and queen would wear their crowns. But I feel like he doesn't want to steal the spotlight from his brother and like would not wear his crown. So maybe we'll just, have them change it to a suit or something like that. So people should be showing- Oh, no, 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 Prince Francis goes, what? That's not your outfit. What the heck? Okay, well, he needs to change too. Okay, so this is Prince Francisco's wedding outfit and then Lady Arya should be here very, very soon. Oh, yeah, we also need to age up the other Lady Arya, but I'll do that after this. I think I need to add some VIP doors so we don't have to deal with some random people walking in. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I have some VIP doors now. So let me just set the level. I will just do one because I'm pretty sure everyone they know has at least one star celebrity. Francisco and Arya are both from Oasis Springs. And then we also have Francisco and Belle. They're actually going to become the Earl and Countess of Brindleton Bay. So we're going to move them there after the wedding. And then we're going to move Jack and Arya in together in Arya's because they're also going to become the Earl, I think, um, or the Baron. No, I think they're the Earl of Oasis Springs. So we'll do that too. So let's go ahead and first have Princess Belle and Francisco. They're going to get married here. And then I don't know. I don't think they would do this, but just to be a little bit different, let's pretend that they're technically having different weddings. But then I'm going to have Jack and Arya. There was another, wait, where'd it go? There was another place for them to get married. I thought, I swear. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So yeah, this is a little smaller. I actually don't know how I feel about this. It's a little bit dark. Maybe I'm just gonna like change the color of these chairs because I don't I don't like them very much. Okay, so first let's go ahead and have Princess Belle and Prince Francisco get married. Oh gosh, do I need to delete this too? Because that's that's gonna get in the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna open up these walls because I want to be able to see everything. Then I am going to have Princess Belle and Prince Francisco get married here because it's such a little cute pretty area, you guys. I love this so much. Okay, guys, so they are now here at the altar or under the wedding arch, whatever you want to call it. I love that they're both wearing like outfits from their different worlds too. I feel like that's really nice. Oh guys, okay, they're getting married now. I did see too, oh my gosh, oh, that's cute. Okay, I did see too that um, a lot of your guys' uh, favorite is also Princess Belle. So I did want to make sure, because I, I wasn't sure we were going to show their weddings, but I wanted to make sure we showed her wedding just because a lot of you said that, that she was your favorite. And I do think they're really cute and I think I'm going to have them try for a baby when they move in together too. So they're now getting married and because they're just, they're so cute. And then right after this, we're going to have Prince Jack and Lady Arya get married too. So that'll be super, super exciting. And I love this view too, you guys. It look, I mean, like you can see all the lights on the top right now, but they look amazing and they're so, so cute. So I think they're married now, I'm pretty sure. What a beautiful ceremony. Yep, okay, guys, they are now officially married. They're so cute, too. I really, oh, okay, well, no, never mind. They, they are now putting on the wedding rings. Oh guys, this is so cute. I, I do love Princess Belle. She's so sweet too. Like she's always been one of the sweetest and she got along so well with Amir and she got along with Princess May too. They were all so close. And then guys, we have Lady Arya. We have our other bride here. So this is her wedding gown. It's very different. I love that the, like the two are pretty different. So we are now going to have her and Prince Jack. They are now going to get married right over here. So this is a little bit different, but I, I love that it is a little different. I think I am going to move just this chair right here because it's getting in the way of my picture. And you guys know how important my screenshots and pictures are to me. I would love to like start sharing them with you guys too in the um, community post. So just so you guys can see, I, I just, I love the pictures. I would love to just like go through screenshots one day too, but okay guys. So now Lady Arya and Prince Jack are getting married. Oh my God, we got to do a double wedding in this episode, which is so, so exciting. Okay guys, so he is now putting the ring on her finger, even though she, she already had a ring, but that's okay. And now they're married, you guys. They are married. So now we have 
had two weddings, so both Prince Jack and Princess Belle have gotten married at the same time, which is super exciting. I think, oh yeah, you guys get to see too, we have Lady Sidiris here, we have Lady Marjorie, which is Prince, which is Queen, or Princess Corinne, yeah, Princess Corinne. That's her sister, so she should probably go say hi to her. We have Prince Francisco, his nephew is here, Lord of Jay is here, um, so we need to make sure that we talk to everyone too, so discuss interest. Belle should probably get to know Prince, oh no, she knows Prince Francis goes nephew really well so that's good um and then this is her cousin lady sadira so yeah i do want to have like just like a cousins club hopefully we'll get to do that soon oh wait she didn't get to see her oh i don't think she gets to invite her other cousins prince charles and princess bellatrix i will make sure you guys see them in this episode too because we aged them up in the last episode but i didn't get to show you guys their outfits and everything so i will make sure to do that in this episode i think we're going to actually i know this was short but i think we're going to end this wedding here here too because i think there's some other stuff i want to do but you guys kind of got to see everyone oh i need to have prince kellen if we have time in this episode it might be the next episode um but i need to have prince kellen and you see prince kellen and megan here i think prince kellen misses megan a lot you guys i think he misses her a lot i think he's gonna try to ask her on a date soon i, d I thought that maybe they might go date other people but i don't think that's going to be the case i don't know though maybe princess megan might have some other suitors so we'll definitely have to look into that. Well, I'll probably try to pay attention to that in the next episode. So we're going to end this wedding here. Um, and then I am going to, yep, yeah, we're just married. So then we are going to age up, not age up. We're going to move in. We got to move in some Sims. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh my God. And then I also have Bubbles. He was being, oh, I just like sucked in a whiff of his hair. Okay. Bubbles, say hi. What? So yeah, if you see him on my lap, that's what he is. Okay. So I do need to have, well, first I'm going, oh my God, they're just legs, Princess Genevieve. I need to have Princess Belle. She's just gonna move in with them for now. Um, and, oh, oh shoot, no, no, no. I thought I just needed to go to Manage World. Oh shoot, okay, well, I need to go back to Manage World. Okay, so I just moved Prince Jack in with Lady Arya and her mother, Countess Carla. Then the next thing is that I moved out Bell. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, whoops. I, I think I just moved in Prince Michael on accident with them. Um, so I did not mean to do that. Sorry, did not mean to separate you from your family. It's just Prince Francisco and Princess Belle. So we need to move them in. Also, okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead to them, make them try for a baby. I might make Prince Jack and Lady Arya try for a baby a little bit later. I might just wait a little bit. And then we are going to also, oh, and then I, I will show you guys Charles and Bellatrix. And then we're gonna see Princess Leilana's having her baby. Okay, so the Golden French Manor, they're both still in their wedding outfit you guys and they're gonna go try for a baby now they just got married which is so so exciting so gonna try for a baby with princess bell they now have their own household too oh my god guys look at this everything is gold like this is the house that uh prince that prince consort philip this is the house that he grew up in so as a gift kind of the queen uh queen nina she like kind of gifted her friend his mother lady pearl like just this golden house. They can like see the palace from here. They're literally right next door to the palace. I wish they didn't put such a small lot next to the palace, but it's fine. It's okay. We'll live. Okay, so now Princess Belle, I, is there a bathroom? Wait, there's no bathroom up here. Okay, well, I would need to fix that too. So we'll fix that later. Um, I think the bathroom is all the way down here. So we're just going to have, oh wait, that's not the toilet. Okay, that's the toilet. Okay, now we need to have Princess Belle take a pregnancy test. Okay, let's see. Is she, yeah, she's pregnant. Okay. Princess Belle is now pregnant. So yay guys. Okay, so they're married and they're pregnant. Um, and then I will have Prince Jack and Lady Arya try for a baby a little bit later. But for now we are going to have, um, we're gonna go see Prince Charles and Lady Bella, um, Princess Bellatrix, oh gosh. Prince Charles and Princess Bellatrix. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys them and create a sim, just the outfits that we picked out for them. Uh, actually no, let's go ahead to the palace with them. Um, we're not gonna age up Princess Diana in this episode, We'll probably age her up in the next episode. Also guys, okay, so I think I might just 
replace the Palace of Windenburg with the palace from the gallery. It's basically because I was like looking at another palace and I was like trying to renovate it that way. And then I was like, why am I doing this? So I might just do that because otherwise like, I don't know. I just feel like it defeats the purpose if I'm like trying to remodel it after this one palace. And then I am just like, like I might as well just download the palace if I'm going to do the exact same thing. I still might keep them here for the summer. I'm looking for the mailbox so I can like up their needs, but I can't find it right now. Oh, okay. There it is. So yes, yeah, so I just so you guys know, I really wanted to renovate it. Maybe I'll build one later. I do have a palace that I love already. So I'll probably just download that in like a few episodes or so. Um, but I just can't guys. I don't have the patience to build one and two, it takes up way too much time. I thought I had enough free time, but then I was like, no, I need to use this free time to do like other adulting. So I'll do that later. Um, but so it works out that they're the only ones home right now. Cause I think everyone else is still at the wedding venue. So this is Prince Charles. Look how good looking he is. I forgot. What is his traits again? Oh yeah. He's active. So he's an active sim. Oh, and then there's Princess Bellatrix too. So they are both so cute princess bellatrix is beautiful you guys she is so pretty oh she's like right next to this like really gross gross cup right now but she's so so pretty so that's them i just wanted to show you them real quick again i am doing this episode after i have like immediately after i have filmed the episode where princess amira and prince johan go on the date so i want to wait till i see your guys's comments about that before i actually like do anything with their relationship so yeah i just want to show you guys them real quick look how good looking they are guys they're so cute. They're so cute. So anyway, okay, so just wanted to show you them and then we will age up Princess Diana in the next episode. I'm looking forward to seeing what she's gonna look like too. So let's go back to Man's World because I do actually, I need to age up Princess Arya um, and then we will go see if Princess Alana is having her baby. Okay, so oh my gosh, they are both taking care of their babies right now. So as a dresser, I just want to change her outfit. I should probably delete everyone's like wedding gowns and stuff because then they show up to some formal events in their wedding outfits, which is not ideal. As you guys can see, I got these cribs to work, um, but they're basically floating. So that's not the best thing in the world, but that's okay. We are going to have her age up Princess Arya. I think I am going to change her name to Arya with a Y. I haven't seen any comments on that yet, but if I do see some reason why I shouldn't, then maybe I'll change it back. That's the good thing is you can kind of change their names whenever you want. But yeah, okay, so we want to age up Lady Arya. And then I think I'm also going to have him try for another baby after this too. Okay, so she is is now aging up Arya. Okay, so Arya is, let's see, we, let's try to do random for her too. I don't know. I, yeah, okay, let's do random for, oh, she's angelic. Okay, Arya is angelic, so that's good. Okay, so this is, oh guys, this is Princess Arya. Oh my, oh, I like her outfit. Oh, wait, guys, she like doesn't look crazy. Like she, she's wearing, like the, I would have picked this outfit for her, I feel like. Oh my gosh, <gasps> guys. Oh, okay, well, she's already making a mess. We need to clean this up. Uh, Let's go. Ahead. Wow, this is Naya's first time like parenting. I'm gonna discipline her. I feel like she ask her not to make a mess first, and, and then you can then if she keeps doing it, then maybe we can yell at her a little bit more. Oh, and then I need Queen Naya and Prince Philip. We need to have them try for another baby. It looks like Prince Philip is supposed to be at work, but that's okay. We'll just we'll keep it for now. But they're trying for a baby. But guys, look at uh, look at Princess Arya. So I think hopefully they're done um, trying for a baby. Oh whoa whoa! Did you guys just see that? Oh my god, wow, okay, we don't need to see that. That was really, really weird. Uh, that's really freaky. Um. Anyway, okay, so they're trying for babies. So we're gonna go see if she's pregnant. Okay, so Queen Nea, I think, um, yep, okay, all right, cool. She's pregnant again. So we're gonna leave them here. Hopefully they have a boy the next time because they've already had two girls. That'd be a lot if they were to have like three girls. Or if they were to have like just girls. Oh God, that'd be a lot. We're gonna go see Princess Leilana of Sulani. We're gonna go see if they are having their baby baby now. I also think that King Mahaka and Queen Lokalani are supposed to be turning into elders soon. I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no, I think King Mahaka is already an elder. I'm pretty sure he's already an elder. I think I might have just changed his hair to like that black gray kind of thing. I think Queen Lokalani though, she might be aging up soon. We'll have to see. Okay, so we are now at the royal family of Sulani. So it looks like Princess Leilana still has a little bit of time before. It, she's in her third trimester, so she should be having her baby any minute. I didn't. Oh, I don't have a nursery for them. Ooh, I, I think I'm just, uh, well, mm -hmm, this is a little bit small. Um, I'm trying to think of the best place to have a nursery. Maybe 
right here. We're not using this for anything. So I might just turn this into like a small nursery. I, I figured it out. I didn't mention this a lot last episode. Um, I, I know if there's like nothing in here, but I'll, I'll remodel this a little bit later. But I figured out in the last episode that I think they need to have their baby at the hospital and like send them alone and then the baby will come back and like kind of be there. Okay, guys. So who is this guy? Oh, okay, that's a random guy. But it looks like Princess Laylon. I think she needs to come inside. But I feel like we should invite like her family over for her to like have the baby. And I do think I want the whole club to, oh wait, I already started the gathering. So now we have the whole club here, you guys. So there's, it's just, just like, cause the family like means so much to them. So you guys are gonna get to see Makai again. He's one of my favorites. He has not dated anyone since Amira. So that is interesting, but um, he is still, still single. Oh, oh, oh wait, this is, uh, this is Princess Leilana's grandmother. So I need to make sure that she ask, maybe like ask her to feel, can you ask Ask her to feel baby or something like that. I want some sort of interaction about her being pregnant. Oh, invite to feel baby. Okay, so she's inviting her grandmother to feel the baby, which is so, so, wait, where's she going? Oh, dang. Okay, she had to go like all the way over here. But guys, look, this is, this is her grandmother. This is like, she's so close to her grandmother too. So I think this is really, really, really cute. Oh, guys. Oh my God. Wait, Princess Leilana is going into labor now. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Okay, okay. Okay, so Princess Leilana is off to the hospital. She's having her baby. Baby. So we're gonna get to see what like what her baby is. Also, since I am filming this directly after the last one, I have not seen any like baby name suggestions, but hopefully for the next babies, we'll be able to do that. <gasps> Okay, oh guys, okay, so they had a baby boy. Um, So I do have some, uh, I, I have some, what do I have? I have some baby names um, that I have saved when I was creating the royal family of Sulani. I saved like a ton of Hawaiian themed names. Um, So we're gonna just take a look at those. Okay guys, so we have Kahuna, which I'm pretty sure means like chief. So it'd be like Prince Kahuna. We have Prince Kana. Oh, I like Kana too. Oh, there's Makana. So that one well, means the wind. Um, so I don't know because then it would be King Mahaka and then King Makana, which would be after Princess or Queen Leilana because he's gonna be the heir to the throne. So I I like Makana. Like it's Kana, but longer, which I feel like is is better for like the royal. Um, so I think we're gonna do Prince Makana. Um, I actually really like like that so prince makana soup <gasps> oh my god guys ah! oh my god oh my gosh she had twins she had girls oh no now i gotta look at more baby names there's kalena which means pure there's also just like layla there's like layla so princess layla would be pretty oh guys there's samaria it's spelled S-A-M-A-R-I-A. -A -A. That one's really pretty. I like that a lot. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to do that whole thing. So Princess Sam Samer Sam So it's gonna be Samaria. So I just need to add the I-A. So we're just gonna do this for now. Oh my god, guys, I can't believe we had twins. I can't believe we had twins, you guys. Wait, so like are they are they mermaids? <gasps> oh god, okay, alright. Um, let's let's fix this. Oh gosh, guys, I have to find their other baby. I just put down a bassinet, but like, I don't know where the other baby is. So guys, I guess I'm gonna end this episode here because I need to find their child. Um, and then I need to put the child in the crib. So hopefully I'll be able to do that by the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was like a lot. I feel like we're just doing so much in this, um, in the episodes now because we've got so many babies being born, so many marriages, but it's just so exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of their names because I'm in love with them. I am so in love with their babies. They have Prince Makana now, and then we have Princess Samaria. So, oh guys, they're beautiful names. They sound so pretty. And they're twins too. So these are our first twins in this generation. So it's so exciting. So guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>